Welcome back guys, welcome to my channel Discuss Tips and Tutorials again. Um, today we will be discussing today what is a Discord server widget and how to end into website. So if you are a Discord user, you have a website too. And if you want to end your Discord into your website widget, you can easily do it. This has to be done in two different ways. Number one, you need to enable widget from your Discord. Then you need to copy the code. And in the second step, you need to go to your website and you need to paste the code into the website widget. So here we will take an example of a WordPress website where I will show you practically how to end a Discord widget into the website. All right. Before uh, starting, I need to want to make sure that you must be the owner of the Discord server or have admin rights to make changes in the Discord server. You must have access to log into your website panel in order to make changes. Okay, so here you need to be an admin or you must have enough uh, admin rights to make changes both in your Discord server and on your website. Okay. <clears throat> So let's start with the first step, okay? So you need to come to your uh, Discord, okay? Uh, once you come into Discord panel, uh, you need to choose a server, okay? You can choose any server which you want to. And then, here I take an example with my server that is a raw server, okay? This is a new Discord account which I created. So here uh, you need to click on the drop down and you need to choose server settings. In the server setting from the left hand panel, you need to click on widget. Make sure by default this will be disabled. So you need to enable it. Enable server widget. You need to click on it, toggle on and make it blue to turn it on, all right? From here, you need to uh, choose what kind of channel you would like to invite. You want to go with a text channel or you want to go with a voice channel. So here I take example for the text channel. Okay. <clears throat> After selecting this, you will be displayed with the server ID, JSON API and pre-made widget. So you need to copy this code. Okay. You simply need to copy the code. So we are all set with Discord here, okay? You need to come to your server settings, then on widget, you need to enable your server widget here. You need to select your channel, what kind of channel you would like to go with, and then you need to copy the code, all right? Now in the second step, you need to go to your WordPress website. So I take my website example here. If it's a WordPress, then you can easily do it with this method. If not, you can drop me a, a message on the comment section. I can uh, make a new video if you're using any other platform, okay? So here you need to go in the appearance and then on the widgets. So once uh, WordPress widget loads up, we will proceed with the second step okay so now where exactly you want to display your discord widget so here i'm taking an example displaying on the right hand side right sidebar where my discord server widget will be displayed okay so this is my panel sidebar okay so i need to choose html custom html from here okay and you need to click and drag wherever you want to so I drag it here and then I give a name uh, you can give uh, like any name I give it discord server or uh, sep of discard server or anything discard tips 
server okay now the code that we got here you that we copied from discord widget the pre-made widget we copy it again we need to paste it here all right and then simply you need to click on save Uh, I'm sorry, I think my internet connection just got dropped. So I will just ask for a few seconds. Just give me some time because it won't uh, be saved until I get connected again. Okay, I repeat the step again. What you need to do, uh, you simply, you need to copy the code from the Discord server widget and then you need to paste here on the WordPress website, okay? And once you do it, you simply need to click on save. And once your uh, widget is saved, you simply need to update it, and then you need to open, a, open your site again, and you will see that the Discord server widget is coming on the very right-hand side of your website. So what is the benefit? The benefit is like if, uh, if you have any kind of website, it can be a blogging or related to anything. If you want to be get connected with the people or you want to uh, invite more and more people to your server, you can simply add a widget. Anyone can simply uh, come out to your website. You can see how many people are connected, how many people are online. They can directly uh, start, uh, they can drop the message, they can see the messages. So that is the easiest way, all right? That is the best way. <clears throat> and most of the people do this, okay? So as I said, I repeat again, if you have any other website, a part of WordPress, you simply let me know if you're using any other platform like Blogger or uh, any other like on Wix, anywhere, and if you need assistance while uh, ending the code into that website, you can simply leave your comment and I will let you know how to do it, okay? So again, I'm still waiting uh, for the connection this, which was been lost. So you only need to make sure that you need to come to the widget. I do it again for you so that you can easily understand. I cancel it. I delete it, okay? Okay, so once you once you come to the widgets, uh, you need to look for custom HTML. You need to grab it on the sidebar or wherever you want to paste, maybe on the header, footer, sidebar, anywhere. You need to simply paste it. You need to give a name, so I can give Discord Tips Server. And the copy is, uh, paste the code that you copied from the Discord widget and click on save. Done. All right. So here we are all set. So simply we reopen the website. I think it's not been, uh, so let me open it on. Okay, so now you can see the Discord server has been aimed into my uh, WordPress website, all right? So you can see the options here, how many people are online. So anyone that who come to your website, he can easily see how many people are online, how, how active this server is. And they can also connect it, connect to you by sending this, clicking on this connect option. So there are many other options there are many other changes that you can make with this that totally depends on you uh, what kind of server you want to end into your website okay so as i said this all has to be done in two steps number one you need to go to your discord uh, server settings you go need to go on the widget you need to turn on enable the discord server widget 
then you need to copy the code from there then you need to come to your website and you need to paste that discord widget code into your uh, website widget once you click on save you are all set you are able to uh, see that your code, your widget would be coming on the very uh, right hand side or wherever you paste the code all right hope this video helped you and you can also check the link uh, in the description box where you can also visit my article where we i have very clearly explained how to use this discord server widget in you know to get more information about it okay i hope this video helped you to understand how discord server widget work and if you uh, really like my video please like like it please subscribe and uh, click on the bell notification so that you can receive all the discord related videos uh, notifications and i will bring every videos with that is based on discord and if you want me to create any video uh, so just leave your comment and i will try to make a video on it okay so thank you so much for watching my video bye bye